Hey Stephanie, it's Karen. Number one, thank you for letting me do your makeup. You were you were just beautiful. Um, you're a b beautiful woman, but you looked stunning afterward. Your before and after I thought was amazing. So I'm gonna put my palette together based on your palette. Um, I've been at the gym all day, so excuse my appearance, but we are gonna use your makeup. So I'm gonna build your palette and show you how to put the pieces together. So remember, all of your tins are magnetic, right? So you just slide the pieces out like this, and then you just put it down in the compact, it's magnetic, and it will stay. So if you wanna switch out a color, you can. If you wanna keep a color, you can. So first thing you do is set the palette up. First, the color you're gonna use and you wanna put in the palette in the top is the mango color, that's your color corrector. And it can also be used in the summer. That's probably gonna be your main foundation color. Second color you wanna put beside mango is Sandy, then Aura, then your contour, Astoria, your illuminator, Rose Gold, your setting powder here. I would then flip, and on the second level, I would put my suede, make sure you read the back, and suede is your lip liner, which was your lips were beautiful. Um, La Cienga, doo -doo -doo -doo. Desert Sunset, what was the other one? <laughs> Summer Love, Hollywood, had a moment there, sorry. So, suede, liner, Hollywood, La Cienga, Desert Sunset. I would then put my eyeliner, Drift, Soulmate, Blondie, Trust, which is your darkest eyeshadow, that's for your eyebrows, and then Oak, and Trust can also be used at night, so. Okay, let's go back now. So you set your palette up. You got three brushes. The bronzer and blush brush, the buff brush, and then the line brush. First brush you're gonna use. And I would just have a microfiber towel um, close by, or a towel, you just wanna wipe it off as you go. And you got the brush cleaner, which is amazing. You do not have to clean through every one. I would clean my brushes at least once a week with the spray. The spray is amazing. It does sanitize it, it cleans it, and it's dry when you're done. So you do have that. First thing you're gonna do is take the buff brush. And you're gonna go into Mango, tap into Mango, and where you had a little bit of redness from the veins you said, color correct that. So push down in there. So right now, for example, you can see I have some bruises here from hitting the reformer at work. I would color correct that. You put it on top to color correct it till it's gone. See if it's gone. <laughs> so same thing here. Push down into it. And it doesn't matter if you see the orange because you're gonna color correct that. The orange is gonna take away, it's like a color wheel. So the bluish that you had here in the reddish, we're going to the opposite end of the color wheel and using an, a kind of an orange tone to take away the color that you had. So we have the color correction. So it's the first thing you do, you put the mango there. You're gonna take the same end of that brush. You don't even have to clean it. You're gonna go into sandy, you're gonna dab. You're gonna put it here. You can even do dots here, 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 here. Make sure you get some. Come up here. Can't go wrong. Here, so it doesn't matter. Here, here. That's your main highlight color. Remember, we're mixing the colors. Okay, the next color you're gonna go into is Aura. That is your brightening highlight or brightening foundation color. We're gonna take the same small, or the same brush, but the small end of it. We're gonna lightly dab. We're gonna come to the corner of the eye to brighten the eye. Corner of the eye. We're gonna come up on the eyelid. And you had some red there, so I would definitely use this as a concealer there. Then we're gonna come out here, push up, push up. Down the center of her nose. Little dots here of brightener. So we're using the brightener, highlight here and here. I can literally do dots. 
Next thing I'm gonna do is take the small end of that brush, the one we just used, same deal. I'm gonna go into my contour color, which is our story in the darkest color you have here. We're gonna push down into there to get some. Under the cheekbone, one, two, three. We wanna stop where the middle of our iris is and we wanna make sure it's pushing up. We don't wanna bring the line down. Same here. Under the cheekbone, one, two, three. So you can see that it immediately gave me definition, right? We're gonna blend. I won't walk out like this. Then we're gonna dab into that same contour, come up here. I'm gonna get to the hairline and we kinda wanna make a triangle. So I'm gonna leave this with brightener and highlight up here. I'm gonna even come down here, here, and then blend a little into my neck so it's blended in. Then I would keep that small end, contour my nose. Remember the tighter end the lines are, the smaller you make your nose. So more or less, those are the lines from you may color correct with mango. You put sandy kind of all over. You use this aura under here, up here on your eyes, and in the middle here. And then you contour it here, 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 nose, which is optional, and down here. Let's blend that. So let's pull out that buff and bronzer brush. And I'm gonna use the small end of it, not the big end. You could use the big end, but I find the smaller end blends better. Start at the bottom, make sure you get under here. You don't wanna leave any lines of contour and blend up. Up, up, up. I saw Amy today in class. You guys were so much fun, so thank you for doing it. You looked again gorgeous. Blend, blend, blend. Make sure you blend it all in. You could literally blend it away. So if you look and you say, you know what? I took too much off, especially where you color corrected. So if you look and you see that there's still some red there, you can go back in and color correct. So let's say I wiped all the makeup off where my, my color correction was. I could go back in and tap to get rid of that. You do wanna tap it in, dabble in. You don't wanna swipe it, so remember that. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, flip over. So all three of these lip and cheek, this Hollywood, this La Cienga, and Desert Sunset, all three of those can be used as a blush and a lip. The day I did you, I used Hollywood on your cheeks, but you can use any of these three. So I'm gonna dab that same buff and blonder brush, the small end, into Hollywood. I'm gonna stay above my contour, remember that, and then push up. You don't wanna go here, not the apple of the cheek, remember? Push up. Little goes a long way, you can build it. Take the big end, Blend it in, you're pushing up. That's pretty. Next thing you're gonna do is flip over, go to your illuminator, put your finger in the illuminator, rose gold, right here, which was beautiful. And you remember, we don't wanna get here into the lines if you didn't have any lines, but if we smile, we don't wanna get there. And here, little on the nose. Putting it with your lips. Okay, next step. We are going to take, you take your line brush. I didn't buy you a lip and cheek brush, but you could eventually get one. Or take a small brush that you have at home. Go into that lip liner suede. And line your lips. Remember, when you line them with this neutral shade, it's almost like a lip lift, you're lifting them. 
any definition. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, I'm not going to use my finger, but you could use your finger, is I'm going to take La Cienga or any of these three lips and fill in. Mm, pretty. I could mix all three of those lips. I could take this Desert Sun to that, which is a gloss. And we put that on top. Right? Pretty. Hmm. I like that. <laughs> okay. Next thing we're going to do are the eyeshadows. So, um, eyeshadow brush. Again, I don't think I gave you an eyeshadow brush. Or bought you one. If you want to buy one. I just kept you three brushes. I didn't want to load your cart up. But if you want to get an eyeshadow brush from me, you can let me know. They're 22 bucks. They're not expensive. So if you have one at home, you're gonna take the a big end, a fluffy end of an eyeshadow brush. You're gonna tap into Drift. Drift is that whiter one. We're gonna come above and just brush it up on this eye line. Okay, so that kind of sets your base. Next thing I'm gonna do is go into Oak, the lighter brown. These are pretty pigmented, so I'm just gonna tap lightly, tap off. I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna keep my eye open, and I'm gonna winch on it. Keep the eye open. When you close your eye, you have a tendency to go down and pull the eye down. We wanna open our eyes. You have tiny eyes, we wanna open those eyes. Go back into oak, I'm gonna tap, keep my eye open. Come up and winch away. I can add more, I can add less. So let's say that's a day look. I'm then gonna use my finger, or you can use a brush, I'll use my finger, into Soulmate, come into the corner, into the middle of the lid here, push it down. Look at that, how that brightened that eye. Now I could blend that, or leave it. Other hand, other finger, come into the corner, press Soulmate. Blend if I want. So that's a great day look, right? Now, let's do your eyebrows for day and then we'll go over to that night look. So you're gonna take, you got this brush, right? We just lined our lips with it, wipe off the lipstick. We're gonna go into trust. Trust is that darker brown. We're gonna hit trust. We know it's pigmented, but we're gonna shape our eyebrow first. We're gonna come up, shape it so that you're shaped down now that I drew the line, I'm gonna take the brush, the spindle, and I'm gonna push the pigment up. And then shape it from there. If I see that I have a couple of places where it's sparse, I can go back in. And re-blend. Big difference, right? Let's do the other. So I tap into trust. I take the line brush, come up. Then I come under and deposit the pigment up. Okay, next thing, take that same line brush. You're going to go into your eyeliner. Make sure it draws a line. And you did well with this. Let me grab my other brush. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to hit that eyeliner. And you did a great job with this of lining. Line your eye. And then you did your bottom, which looked great on you.
Okay, then you put on your mascara, da 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 Set yourself with some setting powder. That's the powder. I would take that same buff and blush brush, use the dense end, push down in the powder. Anywhere you feel like it's shiny, you can set the makeup with the powder. Final step, you're going out at night, you're going on a little date or whatever with whomever. Um, let's go in and use Blondie and Trust for our night look. Okay, so you already have your day look on. You could just take your brush, you could go into Trust. I would take a small brush, dab it. Remember, it's very pigmented. Keep the eye open and make a little kind of a, a C. Going back into trust, keep the eye open. I'm coming up, out, and in, up, out, and in. I blend, blend. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I need to go out. Then I'm gonna use Blondie for night, right? Or you can use it during the day too. Hit that Blondie up. Look at that. Beautiful, wow. It's one of my favorite colors. Blondie. So that pops the eye. So there you have your night look, right? You could add a little bit of your rose gold down here to your decollete. Put a little more in here. You can even put the illuminator on your lips. Right? So the makeup's pretty well usable for many different things. But that's your palette. That's with your three brushes. If you want the other brushes, the... Um, the eyeshadow brush or this lip liner brush, let me know. Um, I didn't want to load your card up and put a bunch of brushes in there until you figured out exactly what you want. So shipping's pretty quick, so if you want more stuff, just let me know. But you absolutely looked insane with the makeup. You were just absolutely beautiful. So thank you for letting me do it. Thank you for trusting me. I'm here for you. So after you watch this video, if you get lost, we can do a Zoom. Excuse me. We can do a Zoom one-to-one. -one. Um or if you're back in Annapolis, you can come over to my house. We can meet again, that type of thing. But I want you to be happy with it. I want you using it. So practice, practice, practice. I promise you it will become so quick. You could literally do the dots like I did um, on Amy and do it that quick. But if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I'm here for you.